Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Hey, hey, it's Wayne with halftoflip.com. It's Friday. Super exciting day. Uh, we're going to get some stuff pulled. I got two orders. Um, I don't know what is going on with my second store. Uh, it's been in a dive now for quite a while. I don't think it's anything that I just did. It was doing really good at first that I started it. And um, when I hit that six month wall uh, for it, uh, it hasn't recovered. Uh, even though I'm still listing uh, in it all the time, uh, putting new items in it, um, it just hasn't got the momentum back. So uh, I'm upping a couple of my promotion, promoted listings uh, to see if I can't get some of this stuff pushed out because I want it out. Um, I really think that I'm going to downgrade uh, my second store um, and move a lot of that stuff. Um, I have probably 400 items that's been over a year old on there. Pro probably more than that. There's probably more like 600 that's over that year mark. So um, I think I want to move those uh, over to um, Poshmark and get that store to the to whatever. I don't even know what the next level is. Is it 500 free listings? I got a thousand right now, so I got to look into that and see. I know I have until uh, the end of March. I switched it over in March uh, for my one year um, before it ends. So. Um, that, there's that, uh, and I want to try to move some of the stuff that I've noticed moving faster on store, um, one, uh, some of that stuff over to there, because I probably have 20 items over on store two that isn't moving, uh, but, um, on store one, that same brand moves quite quickly, so I'm going to, I just want to experiment Take those, move them over uh, at a, even a more expensive um, cost and uh, see if I can't move them on that one and see if what I was thinking is actually happening. Because um, I, I think once you find a good brand that consistently sells, uh, I think that you get pushed uh, forward with that brand. At least that's what it seems. The last few items that I've picked up, I've already moved out of that that brand. Um, and it's different. If you go and look at somebody else's site, um, unless they're just extremely thick in that one brand, you can see, you know, every fifth or fourth or fifth item is that brand, is that brand, is that brand consistently. And a lot of different, different, and I mean, it doesn't even have to be clothes. So... I, I want to see if some of that stale inventory that I've had sitting over there gets moved to that one, if it gets pushed ahead just because it's that set brand. I'm just curious. It's something I, I look like I noticed and uh, just want to test the waters a little bit more. I've been adding new items in that has been selling with that brand. And then um, I have I have quite a few in the other store that hasn't sold that I'm really curious if I move those over into my store one, if they'll actually sell. So we're going to go ahead and pull these um, orders real quick, get them packed up, and then we're going back to the bins. Uh, we're scanning. Uh, we're going to get more books. Um, I can't believe I had how many looks I have already got on the yearbooks that I picked up. And I ordered all of the labels for Amazon which I am glad I looked. I was assuming that any label would be good as long as it was within the diameter of what they required. But Amazon requires a removable and not permanent adhesive on their uh, items. So what I was gonna buy, I didn't because it was permanent. Uh, I did find a really good deal on um, removable adhesive labels. Uh, so I bought three rolls of them. I think it's like five or six thousand items. So uh, I should be good for a little bit and uh, super excited to get them in. I think they're supposed to be here Tuesday. 
Uh, they were shipped today. So um, let's get the work done. All right, everything's packed. Uh, stuff that we can fit in the mailbox is fit in the mailbox. Um, we're heading to Goodwill. Uh, we're gonna do what we did last time and we're gonna go scan. Got my headphones this time, got my scanner. Uh, we're gonna hit books hard today and make sure that we uh, get a good load in um, so I can get my first shipment in and uh, I don't know, I'm excited. Let's go. Well, I just got done with Goodwill and Walmart. Um, not as good as I thought or was expecting. And when I got to Goodwill, um, there was at least five or six people scanning uh, books. So I, I think I only ended up with three. Uh, and then I left them because uh, they only bring out so many pulls, so many hours, you know. So I mean, we were there probably two hours before they brought another one. And there was easily, you know, um, six or seven people you know, on top of the scanner, uh, people who are scanning too. So, um, definitely not my game when it's busy. I'll definitely will come back, uh, uh, during the middle of the week and never again on a Friday. Uh, it'd be different if they would change stuff more often. I mean, I could see if, uh, they were going through and, uh, rotating them every hour or whatever, but they're not doing that. So, uh, I still ended up with the three after, you know, six guys went through, and uh, I was scanning everything. They were cherry picking through it, so uh, I'm happy with the three I got. I got some clothes too. So um, when we get when we get back into the warehouse, I'll uh, I'll uh, tell you what I got because I don't even remember. I just picked up some stuff just to to, to compensate for me driving all the way out here. Uh, Walmart had nothing, uh, nothing at all. This was another one. Uh, that I haven't really been to or went to a bunch. A lot of their clearance is still way high. And uh, it looks to me that they're just liquidating it because there's hardly any left. So uh, I'm guessing they're just palleting it up and sending it out. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but it's time to go home. So let's get there. All right, we're back. Not too bad. Three more books, about 50 bucks there, which is awesome. And then uh, we got, I don't know, like eight or nine items. A Nike and some jeans, swimsuit, some bras. I just ordered yesterday boxes, um, several hundred boxes actually. And uh, pff, already today, they already started bringing some, which is awesome. I got um, regional rate A and B, the square boxes. I got the, the large size boxes and um, the largest rectangle boxes that is just priority and i ordered probably i think 50 of each of them for right now um the large rectangle um priority boxes just the plain priority boxes and i've been chewing through those because it makes really good uh one to frankenstein out of um this one, it's uh, 12 by three by 15. <sighs> yeah, so like this one is perfect. It's just a little bit bigger when you split it in half than the uh, shoe box. The shoe box just comes in so it's square instead of uh, missing this, whatever this, what is it? Uh, seven. So it's it's more of the the um i don't know maybe that is seven that's five i don't know five inches so it's like seven by seven instead of seven by five <clears throat> which i enjoy this one too but uh, i bought a uh i ordered a bunch of those anyways because i was planning on uh filling that wall full of shoes and haven't yet um the bins had a lot more people there on friday i am not gonna be there on a friday <laughs> Friday is not the day for half to flip. That's for sure. Um, 
I will probably go more like uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, but if I implement books in here, I'm definitely going to have to find different means and uh, definitely hit those. A uh, lot of scanners, different ones than was before uh, when I went through during the week. So uh, they probably know now what I know. And um, there's definitely different kind of people. There's always people at your job that complain and moan. Well, that's definitely what these scanner guys were doing. <laughs> I kept my headphones in, I went through my tub, and then uh, they all were on another, the other line, and I was like, forget it. I'm like, it ain't worth that. I'll go over to clothes. I know I can make money over there. So I went through a couple bins, went through some of the hard goods. Nothing spectacular, but hey, I'm glad that I at least got stuff. Um, it only cost me... Um, seven something almost eight bucks for all of that and just the books alone uh is over 50 so uh i'm super happy about that i think i might uh mark out this table um in the conditions book conditions so when i start uh filling out it's going to be a lot easier um to add the books in under each condition so I mean, we're we'll talking what new, used, used, very good, good, and acceptable. So I'll just split it off into those sections, except for new. I'm not gonna have ever new books. So I'll split them off into those, and then I can stack my books as I come in. That way, I don't know, maybe once a week or whatever, I can do shipment. So it's all new. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done one yet. Labels come in Tuesday, I think. So. Um, it's going to be interesting. I'll let you know how it goes next week because whatever I get within the next few days is going in. I don't care if it's three books. It's going to go in. Uh, that way I can see if there's any issues on the um, front end of Amazon that I'm going to run into. Instead of sending a huge shipment in, it'll only be four or five books that might get stuck so that my next shipment that's going in is going to run smooth rather than collect two weeks worth of books and then send them in. And then they hold them for who knows how long. Because um, I know uh, they hold payments and everything for, for newbies. So we'll see. Uh, I'm super excited. We'll get some in. We'll get some sold. And I'll let you know how things are going. Just like always. Um, I'm definitely uh, going to downsize Thor 2. Uh, I'm going to move a lot of stuff, I think, over to my Poshmark um, here really soon. I'm going to start ending stuff over there. Uh, putting more stuff on clearance, or not clearance, on auction, try to get some of it moved out. Um, I've been sending stuff to auction the last, this will be the third weekend, and uh, I've only sold four things, I think, out of 300 items out for sale. So if that tells you the kind of stuff that's over in store two. <laughs> I got 300 things out there on auction, plus probably another 300 things uh, extremely marked down, trying to get rid of it um, and, and seeing how well. I did do a couple 10 days to see the difference between a 10-day auction and a 7-day auction. Um, I have sold more stuff faster um, with bids on the 10-day than the 7-day. The 7-day, they waited till it expired and bought it. Um, on the 10 day stuff, they actually put a bin in early. So one, but Hey, that's what I wanted to sell it at. And it actually sold. So, uh, it's Friday. I hope everybody enjoys their weekend this weekend. Um, I'm hopefully going to get out and play a little bit. Um, the weather out there right now is gorgeous. I'm so happy. I'm ready to go hiking. I'm ready to get rid of this big thing right here. I hate winter weight. I say winter weight, but I've had this last summer too. But, you know, we'll blame it on the winter. <laughs> As always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And here we are. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe. So until then... I'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Toodaloo.